Welcome back guys. Brought the mule down to the pole barn today. It's raining outside and I can't think of a better day to do a little bit of maintenance on this thing. We're going to change the front final gear case oil. We're going to change the engine oil and we're going to change the transmission gear case oil. A couple things we're going to need here. One tool that I didn't have and I had to actually go and pick up one was this 14 millimeter uh, Allen wrench or hex head wrench in order to take the cap off of the transmission gear case in the back. A pretty good size Allen head so if you don't have that you may want to grab one of these before you start. If you don't have that I'm going to show you a tool hack here in a minute when we get back there and uh, it's simply going to require a 14 millimeter bolt and a wrench. I'm going to switch this over to Valvoline. Uh, they do make the ATV UTV oil and this does meet all of Kawasaki's requirements as well as switch over the gear case oil to Valvoline as well. Now you do want to run the mule around and take you a small road trip. Get this thing warmed up to where your uh, gear case oil is warm as well as the engine oil is warm. Let's get started. I hope you guys enjoy the video. I really hope it helps you in some way. Thanks for watching. Let me get to the grain plug of the front transfer case here. And it's going to be an 8 millimeter plug. We're going to remove that first and get this draining. Go ahead and put our drain bucket underneath here. And the trick here is not to drop the plug in the oil. These are magnetized, so any steel will be right here on top. And I'm going to wipe that off with a rag. Set this down. We're going to let that drain. Now our fill hole is in behind our bumper. Since we have the winch on, I'm simply going to let the bumper down. And that way we can get to the fill hole. Should be the toughest part of the job too. Okay, get these guys over here. Uh, these lower bolts, that is a 12 millimeter, and the upper bolts are 14 millimeter. There we go. Okay, now this shouldn't be extremely heavy, but I'm going to brace myself just in case. Alright. That one was tight. This is the 8 millimeter Allen wrench. Let's look the machine over. We haven't broke the winch off the front of it yet. We're doing fine. All the oil is drained now. And I'm holding the bottom plug. I'm going to wipe this off. You can see that is all of what is stuck to the magnet that is down at the base of this. So it's always good to clean that off. Now removing the bumper guys, that wasn't that big of a deal. Again, we had two bolts on the top, three small bolts down on the bottom, and they came right off of there. We have an O-ring right here at the bottom, and I do have new ones. I'm just going to slide that new O-ring right down over the top of it, and work that into place. Okay, and this requires 12 foot-pounds of torque, if you want to go right back to specifications. That's probably not necessary, but I always shake these jugs up. This is our 80 
to 90 weight gear oil. They put so many additives in this stuff anymore that from it just sitting around, I'm sure it can settle. I think we've got it. I know that's a tough spot to see from. These threads are sloping downward and right at the base of the bottom, the very bottom thread, that's where we want the oil to roll up to. Again, if you have a torque wrench in a bit, that is at 12 foot pounds. I'm going to wipe off any excess oil I have here now. I am glad I brought this down to the pole barn and have a little more room. Got that back on. Pan slid underneath here. Now to remove this drain plug, we need the 17 millimeter. And this one is just slightly behind the receiver here. Naturally, I dropped that one in there. If you don't have a 14 millimeter Allen, what you can do is find yourself a 14 millimeter bolt and nut, thread that on there so you can't crush it, and slide that right down in that hole. And then you can get a wrench on that and take that out of there. Yeah, that's better. So that'll work pretty good for you guys. 14 millimeter wrench. Thread your bolt down to where you can't do any harm to the nut there and just slide that nut and bolt in and spin that guy out of there. And there we go. That's our filler cap. Set this guy off to the side so we don't get a bunch of dirt on that. Very important to have this area clean before you start. That way you don't have anything risking getting down into your transmission here. It has rained all day long. Great day to do this. Our drain plug tightens up to 15 foot-pounds. Here we go. I'm going to start putting oil on this and I'm going to go right to the top of the rib that is inside the hole there. And you'll see it when you take your cap off. Don't go anything past the top. They are very specific on this. If it's over full, they want you to remove some of the oil. Now this is 2.1 quarts we need to put in here. We're ready to put the new O-ring on and you can see this one was completely done. And this will tighten down to 15 foot pounds. Okay. All right. We've got the transmission and the front final drive case done. It's time to move to the oil. Oil drain plug is a 14 millimeter. We have just enough room to lay underneath this thing. Okay. 
we have four Phillips screws in here. In this access panel. Then the panel sits down and our oil filter is sitting right there. Now I'm going to stick some paper towels down underneath that to catch all the oil. It's going to leak out from underneath it. I'm going to go ahead and lift our bed up too. We'll have that part of it done. Because that's how we have access to our oil fill. Now this oil filter wrench is a 65 millimeter to a 67 millimeter. We have to long, get a longer extension. Oh, I think we're gonna get it. Oh yeah. Oh, that made that easy. Now, if you're taking yours out for the first time from the factory. These things are really, really tight. There we go. And right down there by that paper towel is where we're going back with our oil filter. And that did catch most of it. And I still have a little bit of spill in there. I'll clean that up before I put the new filter on. One more time now. Our part number for our oil filter is 16097-00110. We're just going to fill this up to about right in here and let the oil soak into the paper. And then we can install it. We'll put our drain plug back on. And we'll be ready to go. I've always been a Valvoline fan. Alright. Let this guy set. And I am going to take and dab just a little bit of oil right around that rubber seal there. So we seal up good going against the engine block. I'm just going to grab it from right here. Just a light coating of oil and you'll be fine. And the manual says 15 foot pounds of torque on this guy. Got it. We'll put our panel back on, and then we're ready to put some oil on this thing. There we go. Run our four screws back in this guy. side. And the manual says 2.2 .2 quarts. We only have to run it long enough to get the uh, oil filter pressurized a little bit and then we're going to check our final level here. time and then leave this thing set check it in the morning make sure I didn't have any leaks we got the front final gear case oil changed the engine oil and filter changed as well as the transmission oil changed now your uh, gear oil uh, after the first 20 hours you're going to want to change that I had them do that at the dealer for me I was not aware of taking this bumper off but 
if you have the winch in place, you will need to remove the bumper. If you don't have the winch, then you're going to have access to the fill hole there. That was five bolts and about 10 minutes to take off and put back on. It's no big deal. But after your initial 20 hours of break-in, then you only have to do that about once a year. So that, that's no big deal. And uh, I've been running this thing through so much water, I wanted to go ahead and do it again. And the engine oil, uh, that's really simple too. So I gotta say, it was, it was fun. I'm glad to know that I've got this thing up to uh, uh, their specifications and I'm ready to ride again. I wanna thank you guys for watching. I will see you on the next video.